Remember your first day in school? You were maybe five or six years old and you were so excited about finally being one of those cool older kids that go to school and learn all these new things and gain all these new skills. You get to do experiments and understand how the world works and how everything is connected. But after a while you start wondering, why do I have to go to school to learn all of this? Can't I do that somewhere else? You start asking your teachers about why you have to go to school and where is this all going to lead and how would you be able to use all this knowledge later in life? What kind of careers can you choose when you're older? Sometimes you would get answers that you're happy with and sometimes, well, maybe not. Research shows that students enjoy science in school. They enjoy doing all the experiments and learning how the world works and how everything is connected, but they don't know what they can use this for in the future. What careers can they choose? My name is Vildana Basic. I'm a PhD student at Malmö University, and I'm part of a research school called Relevance in Mathematics and Science Education. I'm planning on working with teachers in Swedish primary school and look at the curriculum and see what do they have to work with with their students in their education. And then I would like to look at different science professions and see how they can cooperate with teachers to be part of students' education and allow students to meet science professionals and cooperate with them. Now, if science professionals bring different problems that they have to solve in their workplace, to students in education and see how they would solve these problems and allow them to use their creativity, their eagerness to learn and to see problems from their point of view, what would happen? What would happen if students were allowed to use their action competence to affect the world around them and see how they can use their knowledge and what the purpose is with education? Thank you for listening.